What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Race to Explain. Thank you for checking in and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. What we're going to be talking about today is something that a lot of you guys use interchangeably but it's a little bit different and that's the difference between overbite and overjet. So let's go. So a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about, I have a big overbite or I have a big deep bite and all these different ways of saying different things that you're using interchangeably. But there's actually a really distinct difference between what an overbite is and what an overjet is. So an overbite is how much your upper teeth overlap your lower teeth. So if you have a big overbite, what you actually are meaning to say is that you have a deep bite. And I'll show you on the models what that looks like, but it's basically you can't see any of your lower teeth because your upper teeth overlap them too much. Now on the flip side of that, if you have a very small overbite or an open bite, that means that your upper teeth don't overlap your lower teeth at all. When looking at overbite, if someone says they have a deep overbite or a big overbite, you won't be able to see the lower teeth, so it will look something like this. And if someone has an open bite, it looks something like this. So that raises the question, if your upper teeth are too far forward compared to your lower teeth, what's that called? Well, that's called a very large overjet. Overjet is how far forward your upper teeth are in relationship to your lower teeth. So if you have a very big overjet, your upper teeth are really far away from your lower teeth in the forward direction. If you have a negative overjet, that's the same thing as an underbite, which means that your upper teeth are way further back than your lower teeth. Let's take a look on the models and kind of explain what the difference is between these two things. So if you have a large overjet, your teeth will look more like this, with your upper teeth way far forward compared to your lower teeth. On the other side, if you have a reverse overjet, your upper teeth will be behind your lower teeth just like this. So you, ideally you do want to have some overbite and overjet, meaning that you don't want your upper and lower teeth to hit like this. You want your upper teeth to be a little bit ahead of your lower teeth and overlapping them a little bit. About a millimeter or two is ideal. So I hope that clarified the difference between overjet and overbite. I know it's a pretty short video, but I just wanted to clear things up. So overbite is how much overlap you have between your teeth, and overjet is how far forward or how far backwards your upper teeth are in relationship to your lower. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next week on Braces Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, 